What Hollywood can seem like a family business at times. The Baldwins, the Red Graves, the Hemsworths, the Francos to a significantly lesser extent. It seems like with any industry really that if you're a family member of the boss, that's going to be helpful. Rafe Spall, Keith Sutherland, Angelina Jolie, kids with famous parents. But what about the familial links that you may have not known before? <laughs> I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and here are 20 celebrities you had no idea were related. Number 10, Kate Middleton and Guy Ritchie. The future Queen of England and professional prince dispenser Kate the Snake Middleton is related to the poshest cockney in the known world, Snatch director Guy Ritchie. It's distant, but it's there. Their family trees meet with the marriage of David Martineau and Sarah Meadows in the 18th century. That union created two sons. Nearly 300 years later, Ritchie and Middleton are still related through those two sons. Number 9, Jason Schwartzman and Nicolas Cage. Some people know this one, many might not, but Nicolas Cage was actually born Nicolas Kim Coppola. So if anyone's ever questioned why someone has, well, pissed blood! Nicolas Cage he is Nicolas Cage would be able to get a start in movies. He's also the cousin of Lost in Translation director Sophia Coppola and also Jason Schwartzman, who's Cage's aunt Talia's son. Basically, Coppola's are everywhere. Number eight, Rip Torn and Sissy Spacek. She's got space in her name and Rip Torn played the head of the Men in Black. Destiny, you sexy mother. Yes, Patches O'Houlihan and Carrie are related, they're cousins, with Torn's mother having the maiden name, Spacek. Rippy actually helped Sissy get her start in the biz, helping her to enroll in the actor's studio. Rip Torn also broke into a bank once because he thought it was his house. He's had quite a life, basically. Number seven, Tom Cruise and William Mapother. William Mapother? Mapother. 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 Anyway, he's related to the maddest man in Hollywood, the manic pixie dream boy himself, Tom Cruise. The man who is definitely not 55, shut up, shut your damn mouths. His real name is Thomas Cruise Mapother IV, and that is a suitably eccentric name for the smiling fiend. The two actors are cousins and share something of a resemblance, a nasal resemblance. Look at their nose. Look at their big noses. Number six, Melissa McCarthy and Jenny McCarthy. Well, here's two different careers. Yep, they share a surname because the Playboy model actress and the bridesmaid Oscar nominee, yes, she really was, are cousins. Both women have courted controversy in recent years with Jenny making comments that led a lot of people to brand her as anti-vaccine and Melissa making trailers that have led many to see her as anti-ghost. Number five, Warren Beatty and Shirley MacLaine. That's right, Dick Tracy and Aurora Greenway are related. Look it up. Terms of endearments, you fair cretins. Anyway, the pair of amazing actors are brother and sister, in fact. A connection that's quite rarely made, considering the two have 20 Academy Award nominations between them. So, you know, those are some good genes. The two have led fairly separate careers and have fairly dissimilar interests. Shirley is into New Age spiritualism and UFOs, and Warren is into having sex with all of the actresses in Hollywood. Number four, Jessica Capshaw and Steven Spielberg. Jessica Capshaw is one of the stars of Grey's Anatomy, a show about, and I'll be frank, boring doctors. She's daughter of Kate Capshaw, aka Willie Scott, aka the really, really annoying one from Temple of Doom, and that's a big claim for a movie with short round in it. And the connection is made because Kate Capshaw is now married to Steven Spielberg. I know there's often friction between kids and their stepfathers, but how could anyone hate the big spiel? Number three, Snoop Dogg and Brandy. R&B artist Brandy Norwood is best known for her music and also for playing Moesha Mitchell in Moesha. Her first cousin is a man called Calvin Cordazar Brodus, Broadus, Brodus Jr., aka Snoop Doggy Dog, aka Snoop Lion, aka DJ Snoopadelic, aka Snoop Zilla, aka Snoop Dog, rapper, marijuana enthusiast, and WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Brandy also has a brother called Ray J, who's famous for starring in a certain home video with Kim Kardashian. Number two, Rashida Jones and Quincy Jones. Lots of people have the surname Jones, you don't expect them to be related. Tom Jones and James Earl Jones, Tommy Lee Jones and Griff Reese Jones, Janet. Jones and Toby Jones, actually they're twins, but these two are Parks and Rec star Rashida Jones and one of the greatest music producers of all times, Quincy Jones. He's her dad, he's responsible for making her, and he's also responsible for making Thriller, and it's hard to tell kind of which is the better offspring there, because Thriller is good, really good, if you're a fan of music. <laughs> Number one, Prince Charles and Ray Fiennes. What? Well, Actually, no, the more you think about it. I am a jealous man. 
Yeah, no, that makes total sense. Prince Charles is next in line to the throne of England and a very, very patient man. He's also eighth cousins with acting royalty Rafe Fiennes, or to give him his full name, Rafe Nathaniel Twistleton Wickham Fiennes. But all I can think of now is an alternate universe where Voldemort was heir to the throne, and I can guarantee that the Queen wouldn't have reached 90 in that timeline. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.